I'm dreaming of a summer day With palm trees and sunny rays and sunflower fields we run away Hi everyone, it's Mel. Welcome back to my 30-day beach yoga challenge focused on the chakras. We are on our heart chakra today. So go ahead and come into a comfortable seated position, placing both of your hands on your chest. Close your eyes and take in a few deep breaths. Cultivating that love that you want to give and to receive in your life. This chakra is all about space, feeling the infinite, like the sky. It's truly the door to our inner temple and is the infinite part of ourselves. Go ahead and inhale the arms up to the sky and then exhale, pull the hands to heart. Inhale back up and then take three back bends by dropping your elbows and shining your heart. Inhale through the center and then exhale, drop it. One more time big heart opener beautiful and then hands to heart and meet me in child's pose set your intention for the next 20 minutes on the next inhale swing your left arm to the sky grabbing for the right ankle going through the center to switch sides taking this three times to your own breath swinging back and forth through half camel Amazing. This time, come back to the center, sitting tall, and then make your way through full camel. You can start with your hands on the low back, reaching back, or you can grab your feet or your ankles and breathe. Amazing. Relax, planting the hands, and push your hips up for a downward facing dog. This may be the first down dog of your day, so go ahead and shake it out, do anything that feels good, pedal your heels, tippy toes, amazing. And then go ahead and look forward, bend the knees, step or hop to the front of your mat, inhale halfway lift, exhale fold. Stand all the way up, hands to heart center, and then go ahead and drop the elbows as you back bend, and then meet me in a forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, vinyasa. Rolling your heart through, upward facing, and then downward facing dog. Pedal your heels, taking that another time to your own breath after three breaths in down dog. Look forward, jump to the top, inhale, exhale. Stand tall, and then right away, drop the elbows, back bend, and then forward fold. Coming into a chaturanga, meeting me in downward facing dock. Pedal your heels, beautiful. And this time you're going to inhale the right leg to the sky and step the foot outside of the right hand, coming into Anjane Asana. So inhale the arms to the sky, back knee is dropped, and then go ahead and take three of those heart openers by dropping the elbows down. Beautiful. After your three, plant the hands down, step the back foot up a couple feet, and then go ahead and fold for pyramid. Both legs are straight, folding towards that right leg, and then inhale the left arm to the sky for trikonasana. Beautiful. Drop into a lunge for warrior two. Right away, flip the palm, reverse. And then inhale for crescent, so you're just lifting the back heel. Right away, reverse revolve your crescent. So your right arm is to the back leg. Good, and then circle around, vinyasa. Right away, left leg lifts. Bend the knee open, and then step the foot outside of the right wrist. Dropping onto the back knee for Anjane Asana. Lifting the arms to the sky and go for your three heart openers. <sighs> Breathing, beautiful, moving meditation. And then come into pyramid pose. Beautiful, just draping your upper body on your left leg. 
Inhale the right arm to the sky. Triangle. Right away, bend into the front knee. Warrior two. Flip the palm reverse. And then lift the back heel as you come into crescent. And then right away, reverse revolved crescent. Beautiful. Plant the hands. Step back. Vinyasa. All right, coming back to down dog. Looking forward, bend the knees, hop or step to the front of the mat. Right away, drop your hips into chair pose. Beautiful. You're going to swing the right arm behind you and then come back to the center. Swing the left, come back to the center, and then swing both arms, chair plane. You can lift your heels to make it harder. And then inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Gorgeous. Moving swiftly through this flow. Shooting back, meet me in downward facing dog, changing it up a little bit. So right away, right leg lifts to the sky. Amazing, bend the knee open. And you can even drop into your flip dog here or your wild thing. Beautiful. Come back to three-legged dog and then exhale, step the right foot forward. Keeping the back toes lifted, inhale for crescent warrior. Gorgeous, you can rock front and back if you'd like. Dropping the elbows down, inhale the arms up. Clasp the hands behind your back, inhale. Exhale for humble warrior. You can either drop onto the back heel or keep onto the toe, whatever feels comfortable. Your right knee is pushed into the right shoulder. And then open up, reverse revolved crescent. We've been here before. Beautiful. Circle the hands down, and then right away, go to side plank. So you're on your left hand. And then using your core strength, step the right foot back up to the front of the mat. Open up, skandhasana to the left. Big transition. And then plant the hands to the left foot. Step it back, vinyasa. Gorgeous. Right away, left leg lifts. Bend the knee open, flip your dog, drop and lift the heart. Gorgeous. Make it sexy. Step the foot up into crescent. Beautiful. Arms are lifted, dropping down your elbows one time. And then clasp the hands behind your back, inhale the heart. Exhale, humble warrior. So beautiful. Go ahead and release that. Open up, reverse revolved crescents. Gorgeous, you know where to go. Plant the hands right away, side plank. Balancing on the right hand this time. Any variation of your pleasing. Gorgeous, step the left foot forward again. Open up right away. Skandasana squat to the right. And then plant the hands around the ankle. Lower yourself to chaturanga. Gorgeous, pedal your heels. Take a breath and then meet me at the top of your mat. Inhale halfway, exhale fold. Inhale, drop your hips, chair pose. Exhale, wave the right arm behind you. Inhale to the center, exhale, wave the left arm. Inhale and exhale, chair plane, arms are behind you. Stand up tall and forward fold. Gorgeous. Inhale halfway, exhale, plant the hands, shoot the feet back, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Going through the flow again, but we're going to keep it slow this time. So you're stepping your right foot forward, coming into crescent. We're going to be holding these postures for much longer now. So making this a slow burn, you can rock your toe front and back, but once you find a good little spot, hold this crescent pose for 10 breaths. You're going to be shaking, but just focus on the lower body, breathing, your heart is so open, you're shining so bright. Drop the elbows for a couple breaths, gorgeous. Inhale up, and then clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale, exhale, humble your warrior. Holding this for 10 breaths. Repeat after me in your head or out loud. 
I give and receive love easily. I nurture myself and say no to things that do not serve me. I am blessed with abundance. Amazing. Just a few more breaths. You are going to be shaking right now if you're holding it in the deep expression. You got this. All right, release that. Oh my God, I was in so much pain. <laughs> pain is good. This is where the yoga starts. So go ahead and do reverse revolved crescent. If it's too hard to keep on the back toe, just go ahead and drop onto the back knee and hold. Slowing down, getting deep into your lunge. Beautiful. And wherever you are, go ahead and come out of it slow, going into that skandasana to the left. Go ahead and just hold here for three breaths. Beautiful. You can even go for the bind behind the back. Amazing. So good, you guys. Circle to the back leg and meet me in downward facing dog, however you want to get there. Moving on to the left side, shake it out, and then left leg lifts. Step the left foot up in between your hands. Inhale for Crescent Warrior. Rocking front and back a few times, holding this straight, strong crescent. Back knee is straight. Good. Front leg is 90 degree angle. Beautiful. Holding. You got this. And then drop the elbows down. Heart opens. Balancing here. And then circle the hands down and around to bind the hands behind your back. Inhale, open up your heart. And exhale, fold for a humble warrior. Again, holding this for quite a few breaths. Remembering that you are stronger than you think you are. And this is stretching the back of your heart, the back of your back and your shoulders. So strong and beautiful. Last breath. Amazing, release, circling your arms around for reverse revolved crescent. You can drop onto the back knee if you need to shake it out. Your hip flexors, mine were pretty tight. But then go ahead and find the pose and hold. Big inhales through the nose. Exhales out of the nose. Restricting the back of your throat, keeping this super intentional. Breathe your way through the pain. And then go ahead and stand all the way up to Skandasana squat to the right. Beautiful, taking three breaths here, either floating the arms above you or to the sides, or going ahead and doing that bind behind the back if you did so on the other side. Beautiful. All right, circle the hands down and around the right ankle, roll yourself through upward facing dog, and then exhale for child's pose. Connecting again with your breath, feeling so strong, all the hardest work is done. Beautiful. And then roll yourself onto your belly. Go ahead and come onto your forearms for Sphinx pose. Beautiful. And then extend the arms forward and then lift everything off the ground. So you're in Superman. Beautiful. Your legs are lifted. Your arms are lifted. Your gaze is forward or to the ground. So you're keeping your spine nice and long. And then you can even try to float the arms behind you. Gorgeous. And then drop onto your chest. Rocking your knees and legs left and right. And then going for another round. This time, you can circle your arms around to grab the bind for a bow. So go ahead, kick into your hands and pull into your feet. If you breathe in this posture, it is normal to rock front and back. So as long as you're breathing, your belly is gonna kind of move you forward and back. 
but wherever you are, try to hold and get your deepest expression. Beautiful, give it a rest, release everything onto the mat or the sand if you're also practicing at the beach. Okay, last round, go ahead and grab the bind again, grab the feet, kick into your feet and then make this the deepest version that you've done today. So push into yourself, go ahead and try to bring your knees closer together, squeezing everything, making this the most active thing that you do today. So, so, so good. And release. Good. Pushing your hips back to child's pose. Amazing, you guys. Go ahead and come onto your butt, extending both of your legs out in front of you. Counterbalancing all the back bends. Go ahead and inhale the arms up, lengthen your spine, and then forward fold over your long, beautiful, strong legs. Beautiful, breathing into your low back, every part of your spine, making sure your spine is strong and straight and not super rounded down. Amazing. Slowly roll up. Going for Janyu Sirsasana. So left knee is bent and then you're straightening and bending towards the right leg. So good, you should feel this in the left lower back. Slight twist, and then inhale the body up for modified wild thing, and then change directions. So folding over the left leg, good. Right foot is inside of the thigh, gorgeous. Taking that wild thing like you did on the other side, and then coming down to a seat, last couple poses, we're gonna do some twists. So extend your left leg out, right knee is bent, and then take the left arm outside of that right knee and twist. Make sure your spine is super tall. So good. When you're ready, change sides. So bending the left knee, taking that right arm outside of the knee, and twist. <sighs> Beautiful, my loves. Slowly come out of it, meeting me in a seated meditation. I'm skipping Shavasana today because it's super dark where I am, but go ahead and place both of your hands on your heart like we started in this video. Inhale for three deep breaths, cultivating that beautiful heart of yours, feeling super open. Inhale the arms to the sky, open up the heart one last time, and then pull the hands to heart. Namaste, my loves. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Have an amazing day. Also, I had to show you this gorgeous sunset in Santa Monica that I'm experiencing. I am so blessed.